Hello, everyone. It's Catherine Palin Brinkworth, and I'm so excited to share with you on this short video an introduction to CSP Pathway so you can see what's in it and how it's been developed and how we're doing our absolute best to provide you with what you need to build a significant business, a significant speaker business. So you're here because you're committed to building a successful, sustainable speaker business. And I think sustainable is the key. If we can build it strongly enough, nothing should deter your business revenue. And we're here because we at PSA are committed to supporting you. We want to be guiding your pathway by providing you with experienced group coaching from people who've been there and done this, some recently and some a long time ago. We'll give you personal mentoring, we'll give you unlimited encouragement, but it's got to be a two-way street. We can't do it for you. We'll provide the guide and you provide the labour. Is that the deal? Let's hope it is. So a long time ago, I was given this wonderful formula by a fellow called Steve Brown in Fortune Training Company in Atlanta, Georgia. And he told me there were three reasons that people fail. And I have found that invaluable and have his permission to share it. And of course, because you're a speaker, we're going to talk about the three reasons speakers fail. It's the same. So the first reason that speakers fail is that they don't know what they're trying to achieve or why it matters. And I know that to be true. When I lose focus, when I try a new business model, when I follow some bright, shiny object, I know that I lose traction. I lose focus, direction, and the results fall off. So that's one of the things we'll be working with you on, making sure you're really clear on what you want to achieve and why it matters to you. So the second reason speakers fail is they don't know how to do it. Now, that was true for all of us at some stage. And actually, my theory is that it's true for all of us every day because we kind of knew what worked for yesterday. But today is a different day. And we've seen our world change a lot since the beginning of 1920. And uh, no, since the beginning of 2020, it's my age showing which I'm so proud of. And we have to keep learning new tricks or just new ways of doing things. And we have to stay humble and curious and learn together and help each other. And that's why PSA was formed way back. So the third reason that speakers fail is that someone or something gets in the way. Now, I've asked lots of people who gets in their way and regardless of the number of blame stories that I hear, I know it's always us. So we'll be looking for what it, we, what it is that you do or don't do that gets in the way, what kind of sabotage turns up because it does for all of us and how we can help you get over it and push it out of the way or climb over it or climb under it or just bash it with a big stick and see the wall fall down. Whatever we have to do to help you deal with whatever's in the way. So where are you going? What are you trying to achieve? And why does it matter? We will be exploring those three questions in our very first module, which is on strategic thinking and helping you develop your business model. Another question for you, what's your ideal purpose? Like, why do you want to do this? It isn't always easy. And what would make a perfect ROI for you? How do you measure your return on investment? It isn't necessarily about the dollar. Maybe it's about applause and appreciation. I know a lot of people who need that, that external validation. There's nothing wrong with that. Whoever you are, there's nothing wrong with who you are. You're not broken. Maybe what you've been doing hasn't gotten you where you want to go. So if you want more applause and appreciation, you can share that with your CSP mentor and we'll all help you achieve it. 
Recognition and brand positioning is another really good reason to drive a speaker business because when you're out there on major stages or even online, who you are and what you do screams loud and it can help your brand with other things you want to create. What about contribution? I think if you look at anyone on the national board or in chapter leadership, they are doing what they're doing for you to make a contribution. And I know for me, I know that if I help a speaker, I help tens if not hundreds of thousands of people. The work that I do with Vinnie's or any of the other um, organisations that help people, that's very rewarding, but it doesn't help as many. So maybe it's our contribution that you want to get and give. And the money. Our wonderful hero, Winston Marsh, used to say, probably still does, uh, that won't work, you'll starve, and you, you don't want skinny kids. And that's true too. So we want to earn the money that we deserve, the money that constitutes our value. And nothing wrong with that. We'll help you do that. And there might be something else that we haven't thought of. Here's what we'll be doing on your sustainable, successful speaker journey. We'll be looking at where you're going, and that's in a module called leadership. So we'll look at your vision, your purpose, and your strategies. You'll need to know your market and make a plan, and that's our second module called research and planning. A lot of us don't want to do that, but if we don't, we'll waste a lot of time and money. The third module will be on building your programs, your products, your presentations getting that product as quality as we can make it. And it never stops getting better when you're focused on working on it, I can tell you. So that's the module called Product Build. This is actually not a horizontal line that we're working through. It's a wheel because it never stops. We keep on building as we go. The fourth module would be on telling your market what you offer, marketing stuff online and offline, because both are important, and then getting their commitment to buy you and your programs and your products, and that's called sales. Now, eventually, you'll do the Boost program, and that will take you into a deep dive right across the board. We'll spend a couple of sessions on sales and marketing. We'll be talking to you about how to deliver the best value and that's in the one, two, three, four, five, sixth module. And then we'll be working on taking wonderful care of our people, service. Do you know that there's a corresponding competency for every one of these modules except for service? There just isn't a competency. Well, there is now. And the last one is to keep score and continually improve to really develop easy systems for your back office management. That's finance, that's HR, that's anything that needs to be managed rather than leadership, which is about the horizon. So a couple of, well, three actually, overlaid essentials. We'll be looking at your strategy. We'll be finding out how you want to do what you want to do and where you want to get to. We'll be looking at structure, the people you have in your team or maybe don't yet have in your team, and that structure is who does what for whom. Systems, how and when it gets done, and helping you to put them in place right across the eight modules. Now, it's your business model. No one has the right to tell you what it should be like. There is no one right answer. You may be wanting to deliver deep information. You may be want to be doing it either in person or virtual or both, which is most of us, I think. Um, mine is now predominantly virtual. I love consulting. I love going in and problem solving and then speaking at an event to discuss what's happened and how we're going to continue to improve it, which for a long time I've had a training business now run under license and soon to go completely online. Facilitation and diagnostics, they're a perfect part of a business model. 
and you could almost call them passive revenue, although everything needs some kind of application or commitment. You may be a keynoter. There are not many of them purely in Australia because our population of 25, 26 million doesn't really support that. But there are a few who've done it brilliantly. Whereas in a population of, say, 300 million, there's a lot of room for a lot of keynoters. Maybe you're entertaining. Maybe you're not yet. Alan Pease taught me that the only way to get referred and, and rebooked was to be funny. And I had to learn how to do it in a way that was congruent for me and not copying anybody else. And of course, there's webinars and online products and group coaching. You can build all of these into your business model. Probably best to get one working before you try the next, depending on your own learning style. Me, I need to at least feel like I'm multitasking or I get bored. Now, I've helped a lot of speakers with this over the years. How do you define your value? Because as we move through the program, you're going to have to be very clear and very strong in your own sense of value. And it isn't the fees you charge. It isn't just your knowledge and expertise. They're valuable. But how do you measure it? Well, the first way you measure it is the cost of the problem you're solving. Now, will your client tell you that? Maybe not. Maybe you have to dig for it. So we'll help you with that. It's about the increased productivity and morale and sales that will ensue from bringing you in. Not so difficult to measure, but still might be challenging. And the third one, it's about the savings in staff turnover, in lost business, in maybe illness within the organisation if there's a lot of stress. So that's one of the things we'll help you to do because I've learned over many years now that when I know my value, everything else is easy. There might be some limiting beliefs talking in my head from time to time. We'll talk about that too. One of the things we will challenge you to do is to grow your unique speaking perspective, way more than your topic, the what and the how that you do what you do, and the impact and the outcomes. And when you're clear on that, we'll help you create your model and confirm your value in dollar terms and establish your copyright and trademarks so then you can decide how to leverage. And that's where businesses go. So it takes you from being self-employed into owning and running a very successful business that can be saleable, even if you currently think it's all about you. I've proven that one. So bring it home. That's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be helping you follow your dream. We're going to be growing your unique speaking perspective. And we're going to urge you to take on chapter leadership because that's how you grow. You get to talk with and be with other leaders in our profession and industry. You have credibility just in your leadership title that may or may not yet be earned, but it will be. And that means that you can think from a higher perspective. You can think, act, feel like the totally successful speaker we know you have inside you. If we didn't know that, we wouldn't have put this program together. It's taken a few hours of manpower. I'm going to be supported on this journey with you by Gary Edwards, our National Accreditation Chair and last year's Nevin Award recipient, and also with Lindsay Adams, Life Member, former Accreditation Chair and always a giver. Lindsay Adams, OAM, who's been helping more speakers than I have toes and fingers for over the last few years. So we're here for you. We hope you'll join us and look forward enormously to taking you where you want to go. See you on video and online.